right, Nathan, we are looking at coffee mugs. Mm. Very different today. Yes, we tend to drink a lot of hot beverages. I don't drink coffee. He drinks a lot. Tea and hot chocolate. Ooh, those are good on a nice winter's day, especially in Canada. So, we're going to be looking at three different coffee cups, three very different price points. Let's see which one is most worth it. Now, this is a coffee cup that I currently allow Nathan to use. He, he, he... Had an accident he a had few an days oopsie. ago. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Yeah, all right. I mean, I spilled coffee here on this table. I'll admit that. But... Yeah, well, we have video footage of that. Okay, well... Roll it! Ooh! Anyways, so this is a typical $1 camping coffee mug. Um, you can use it to cook water in it. So if you want to put this over to fire. Boil water, he means. Boil water. It's metal. So we have some boiling hot water here to demonstrate its characteristics. So, ooh, look at that. Look at that steam coming Look off. at that steam. Ooh. So one of the problems with this mug is if you pour boiling water into the cup, mm -hmm. the the tin around it gets very, very hot and it's difficult to drink until it cools down a little bit because it could burn your lips. But they yeah. do have the handle, which doesn't get hot, mm -hmm. but you just can't grab onto it. That is actually very hot. I mean- Imagine putting your lips on that. <laughs> Did you do that once? All the time. <laughs> and then and then the water's already coming in or the tea's coming in, so mouth, your mouth is burning yeah, and your lips. It's either you swallow it and you burn your throat. <laughs> or you spit it back in. <laughs> 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 is that what happened to the keyboard the other day? <laughs> Anyways, a dollar cup, it, it holds your liquids. It's pretty good. You got a you got a flimsy, it's actually a pretty firm metal handle. It's all right. But it doesn't it. retain heat very well because it has the yeah. opening on top. And because he, a lot of heat, not only is it escaping through the top, it's escaping through the, the cup itself. Yeah, but yeah, it's a dollar cup. So next up, we have a $30 $30. Cup. It's what you dropped, Nathan. <laughs> so this is a double glass insulated coffee cup. And what that means, or what it's supposed to do, is help keep the drink insulated and your hands from getting burned. I did notice it when I use it, and you probably notice it because you use it every day, that you can pour very, very hot liquid into there and pick it up right away. Even though it looks like it'd be super hot, it's actually not because there is two layers, like you said, in there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see with the side camera, but you can clearly see a bottom glass and then an inner bottom glass, and that's the two different glass layers. And in between that is air which is what's giving you that extra layer of insulation. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. Let's see Let's see if it burns Nathan's hands. So this will retain heat just only slightly better than the $1 cup mug that we just looked at. And the reason being is because you have this opening on top. Yeah, it can still be cooled off pretty easily with the, the passing air. Ooh. Not hot at all. It's pretty good. It does a good job. Your hand is still warm. It's, well, it's not warm. No, it's like, it's like it's room like temperature, room temperature the, the outer glass. Does a good job. But you can feel the heat on the top here. It's a good cup. 30 bucks. He uses it every single morning. I used to. He got demoted to the dollar cup. I broke it. <laughs> Last up, we have a $250 coffee mug. Expensive. But I think it's worth it. Do you? Right off the bat. So this is the cup. It is the Ember coffee mug. You guys may have seen it in one of our previous videos. We did do a full unboxing video, and if you want to see that, we can link that down in the description. Now, this is actually a pretty special cup. Not only does it keep your drink warm, there's an app that goes with it that you can control the temperature of the mug mm -hmm. for your drinks. One of the added benefits as he turns it on, Come on is you can travel with it. And there's a lot of travel mugs out there, but I think this will be so good because it will retain heat so well. There's nothing worse than filling up your, your mug with a nice cup of coffee or tea, mm -hmm leaving it in your vehicle because you're driving for a little bit, forgetting about it, coming back maybe an hour later and it's cold. There's nothing worse than that. So $5 Starbucks drink, wasted, Nathan, wasted. So this will retain the temperature at whatever temperature you want it to be at. Look at that steam. We're putting it to the max. Now, the lid is actually a pretty good lid as well. It's one of those you push in and then it opens all around. It's a pretty good one. Pretty good one. Now, this is where the magic happens. You close it, not only it doesn't even feel warm. Feel that. Feel that. Look at that. It just feels like a normal. Feels like there's a cold beverage inside of it. But if you tap the Ember logo, if I can see it, you're giving this control option here at the bottom to adjust your temperature. We're gonna go to 60. Now nah, we're gonna go to 55. 
So you can change the temperature to whatever you want it to be. It'll let your drink cool off if you want it to be a cooler temperature, or it'll warm it up a bit. Now, it is not a boiler. No. You're not supposed to put in like lukewarm water and get it up to Let's 70 hope it degrees. Comes up. But no, it is, it's pretty good. Look at that, it doesn't even spill. It's a cool design. And one thing that's good about it is, we all know that Apple products are on like, kind of like a class of their own. If you have an Apple product, you know it screams quality. And Apple actually sells this product in another mug-like product, similar to, ow, similar to, <laughs> similar to this one, on their website. So yeah. you know it's a quality product. By the same company, Ember. They have like a, a typical mug that we looked at before, same features without the lid, so it's just like a stay-at-home mug. But I really like it. Look at the way it pours. Look at that. So one thing that we did notice is that water will remain in the top here once you close it. Yeah, there's like a little drop there. Gotta get rid of that. So the other color that you can get is white. And if you have tea or coffee, that's an issue. Because mm -hmm. if coffee or tea remains at the top, it might stain it, especially if it's a white one. And that looks kind of, kind of grimy after a while, and you don't want that. So I that's why we one. chose the black one, and he used the white one. Wherever yeah, he was. the white one is. Is it staining? Well, the side of it is super clean, but at the top near near the near the opening, it's a bit darker. Even though I clean it, like I use soap, I clean it right after I use it. It's still a little bit. Hmm. But that is it, the ember mug. All right, Nathan, three different mugs, three very different prices. Which one do you think is most worth it? So, just from a travel perspective, I would say the Ember wins. Ooh. However, at the price of $200, I feel like you could get some $250, my mm. mistake. You could probably get something in the range of maybe $20 to $50 that's a little cheaper that does a similar function. It may not be able to control the temperature, which is very cool, but it would have a similar function. But for everyday use, like if you're, you're around the house or you're in the office or something, you don't really need a travel mug. So between these two, I liked using this before, but I broke it. But hearing the price, it was $40, that's pretty expensive. So I'm probably gonna have to go with the cheap one, this one. Mm. Because you can't drop it and break it. He's tried. <laughs> I have not yet. <laughs> All right, in my opinion, the one that is most worth it, I'd have to go with my go-to, the mm. glass one. I can drink it no matter how hot the temperature is of the liquid. My lips aren't gonna get burned from the glass. Your mouth might. It's Well, yeah, my <laughs> mouth might, but you know, holding it, like holding, like that, that's hard, that's hot. But holding this, even after all that time where it could warm up the glass, it's, you can just do it. And it's comfortable to hold. Mm -hmm. And it looks nice, look at it, look at that. You know how dark your tea is, how steeped is your tea at any given point. This is like one of the, the kind of cups that you would get at like a prestigious coffee shop. Okay. They give you like a, a glass like this and say, here you go, sir. Whereas this is like, here's a mug around the campfire. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Catch. It's like black from all the ash from oh. the fire. All right, let us know in the comments below which one you thought was most worth it. Did you guys like the travel mug or not? I thought it was cool. Oh. Do you guys have a travel mug that you use that you think is better than these ones? Yeah. Leave a like if you enjoyed and of course, subscribe if you're new.